his rings. My dad started boxing when he was younger and he put me into this club uh, a year ago. Basically, my uncle was a trainer. And I've done it for six months here and then I quit. And he's trained me before because I was about 10. And then I trained with my brother because my brother's a professional boxer. So you got a jab. There's just one that goes to this. And then you've got, you've got uppercut. It just goes like that. Double jab, backhand. You connect loads of punches. Go. Lead uppercut. And then you've got like hold moving, but you go like that when you're in the corner. Pictures of Mark Tyson, professional boxer. He's one of the best. Got Mahalo Dali down here. It's like you get all your anger out. It's just, oh, it's just a sport. The thing I'd really like to do, well, what I'd want around here is probably like an opening boxing gym or somewhere where you can go like through the day. Instead of fighting on the streets, if we really had to, we're gonna learn boxing. What are your opinions on the park rules? My opinions on the park rules is that it's not quite fair because the little kids, they go in there wearing, let's say you're 11, like just turned 11, someone will come out and just shout at you and tell you to get out and it's it's not fair sometimes. I would put, like have something outside the park just for us little, uh, bigger ones, just, for so, just something we can do and not get shouted at by the other adults. I think we could do something with the field area outside the park down the road because there's a massive green area and it's not being used. This is the den where we used to hang out but then it got really overgrown and it was really small and a lot of us are getting tall for it and the, like, the fence was really awful and there was like loads of broken glass and wood in there. You can put equipment there for us older ones and you could maybe improve uh, the state of the equipment because the equipment's breaking so it needs updating almost and you need to have a good park and a reliable park for the little ones in there. You need to like cut all the brambles back and do something with it. What do you do to make your own fun in your area? Um, we have a sports box and we do a sports day every, every summer so it's quite a good way of getting out the house and not being controlled by adults and just like a kids run free day. <laughs> We're going to need one more on the end. Okay. Go! Is that right? <laughs> Don't get off, by the way. Don't get off. I don't really come to the park that much because people do drugs. There's a shelter at the ramps and they, they're like, yeah. they used to be like a radio there and everything and now they like set fire to it. So this was recently done about a year or two years ago and this is what the young people have done to it. They've been vandalising it, knocking um, the plastic around it. There's been a few crimes here. A person caught murder in a green shelter. The kids have absolutely trashed it in here. There's graffiti, there's mud, there's loads of drugs. What else do you think could be improved like as well in the park? Um, the shelter, obviously, it's very enclosed. Yeah. So a lot happens under there. There has been a couple incidents that like my family's been involved with things down here so it has scared us quite a lot to come out do you feel safe around here yes pretty safe sometimes we don't really feel safe on our own or with our parents once my mum was sitting in the shelter and three teenagers took 
Because I'm afraid they're going to attack me with my, what my sister got attacked. What do you think will make the park safer? Um, maybe like a fencing around it? If they put like a police patrol, something, like in this area. If they put like more like activities, like play like a rollerblade and some fence class. It might be a bit safer and people will feel safe. Police officers aren't allowed to get into high speed pursuits, they can only get into like medium speed pursuits. Why do you think that is then? Because if it it's police officers, it's they're endangering the um so if the car's getting too like fast and it on the sun and you think it's gonna endanger other drivers, they call off the pursuit. What do you think about the police in this area? Good. Good? Why are they good? Because they sort stuff out like in primary school when like if you get into chased at home like I have been previously, the police sorted out and got them in trouble and sorted everything out in the area, made sure that he's not coming near me. If he does do it again then I tell the police and then they'll sort it out again. That's fair. And do you see the police around a lot or not? Not really because this community is safe, but sometimes you see stuff that you don't really notice. So yeah. So maybe the police, what what do we what do we drive where you might not unmarked. be able to see us? Yeah, so we can drive unmarked vehicles, can't we? Mm -hmm. So if there's something going on or we need to gather intelligence yeah. for something, we can be in an unmarked vehicle. So we might not always be seen. I want to take down like people that are being either bad or like just help the community get give back like people. Like if there's criminals that doing drugs and stuff, I want to stop them from doing that and make communities a lot more safer for <coughs> children to grow up and like live in safe communities. Hello, my name is Rita. We're in the park by the stream and there's lots of pollution here. Rubbish, bags and also bottles. Do you think this affects the animals living in the stream? Yes it does because they can also get stuck in the stream and, they can, and it can also affect their habitat. Are you worried about the environment? Yes I am because all the animals could die and all the trees could stop help the environment and make it be better. One, pick up the rubbish that's in the stream. Two, don't leave your rubbish anywhere and make sure you put it in the bin. Three, reuse your bottles. What wildlife is that? There's birds, flowers, bees, daisies, dandelions. My top tips are number one, Plant flowers for bees and butterflies. Number two, start start putting bird boxes up. Number three, don't use nasty chemicals because it will make bees and butterflies die and we won't have any animals left. It's important to look after bees because they're the one that makes us food and and we live because of them.